Sorry, was that Sears 425 uh, Sierra Gulf? Sears 425 Gulf Hobby Tower, you number two, falling at 737 on a three mile final. Cosh Lake Turbulence from Ring 4, clear to land. November 5-2 uh, Gulf, what did the approach tell you before? Proceed direct to the numbers for runway 4, direct to Hobby. Hobby 4 Gulf. Sirius 5-2 Gulf, maintain maximum 4 to the speed of Fable and, and uh, proceed direct to the numbers. The uh, 737's on a 9 mile final following you with an 80 knot overtake. Sirius 5-2 Golf Tower. 4-5-2 Golf. Yeah, I got traffic behind you. Just uh, go around and uh, fly runway heading now. Uh, maintain VFR. I'm going to put you back in a downwind from a 3-5. Uh, the winds are 0 9 or 0 at one three, gust 1-8. One Can you accept right 3-5? We'll go around and line up for runway 3-5. Downwind. 5-2 five, Golf. Fly runway heading from a 4 for right now. We'll fly runway heading for 4. 4-5-2 four, five, Golf. That was 235, runway 4, clear to land number 1. Clear to land uh, number 1, so this is 235, runway 1. For 5 to uh, Golf, when able, uh, go ahead and make a right downwind now for runway 35, and then we'll just go ahead and keep that right turn, runway 35, clear to land. Seven thirty-seven on 5 mile final, this is runway 4, and you're going to be in front of him. 4-2-5-2-Golf, turning around for runway 35. Okay, 5-2-Golf, yeah, let's just uh, just enter the right downwind for runway 35. Right downwind 35, 4-2-5-2-Golf. 5-2-Golf, I'll call your right base now. Sure, 5-2-Golf, 737, that's your uh, 2 o'clock and 3 miles at 900 feet and inbound from report. Advise that traffic inside. I have traffic inside, 4-2-5-2-Golf. 5, five 2 golf make a right base behind that traffic from a 3-5, clear to land. You're going to be following them. They're going to be a landing crossing or a new party arrival. We'll make a right base following them, 4-2-5-2-Golf for 3-5. 3564, serious traffic ahead into your right head inside. It's going to make a right base behind you, landing crossing or a new behind you. Alpha 35 Sirius 5 2 Gulf, make a turn left heading 30 degrees. Left heading 30 degrees, 425 2 Gulf. 5 2 Gulf, did you want to follow the 737 to runway 4? Yes, that would be great. 425 2 Gulf. 5 2 Gulf, Roger, follow the 737. And to runway 4, clear to land. So am I turning a right base now, 425 2 Golf? 5 2 Golf, Roger. Just uh, maneuver back for the straight end. I don't know which way you're going now, so just turn back around to runway 35. Turning to 35, I'm so sorry for the confusion. 425 2 Golf. That's okay, we'll get it. Tower team, 350 Golf, Alpha Visual, runway 4, parking at 10 Golf, Alpha, Tower, Roger, continue. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Five two golf. Uh, just make it uh, so you're in a right turn. Keep it tight. I need you to make it tight. Keeping turn tight. Four two five two golf. For zero golf alpha traffic alert heading to your right in one mile nine hundred feet. Zero golf alpha looking. For five two golf, I need you to. Okay, there you go. Straight into runway three five. Clear to land. Straight into three five. Clear to land, and I don't believe I'm lined up for that. 4252 Golf. Okay, 52 Golf, Roger. Turn to the right and climb, maintain 1,600, right turn. 1,600, right turn. 4252 Golf. 52 Golf, yes, ma'am. Heading about 040. 040, 4252 Golf. Okay, 52 Golf, let's do this. Can you do a right turn back to join the straight into 35? Could you do it like that? 
Yes, right turn back to 35425 to go. 45 to go. Okay, so you're just going to make a right turn all the way around to runway 35, and now you're clear to land. 35, clear to land, 45 to go. Thank you. Clear to land, uh, number two of the airport. Travis is serious, uh, rolling on about a mile final, runway 35. All right, let's slow it down. Okay, great. Okay, Travis, we're going to go to runway 352 Golf. Okay, you're looking good. Just get you a right turn uh, for runway 35. Do you see runway 35 still? Yes, 35, 4252 Golf. Have it in sight. Continue my rolling. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you're good. So you can start your descent to runway 35 there okay. and uh, clear to land on 35. Clear to land three five four two five two golf. Thank you very much. No problems. Uh, winds are one zero zero at one zero. I'm sorry. Winds are one zero zero at one five. Gust to two zero. Number five two golf. Uh, if you don't want to land, that's too high. We can put you back around the downwind. Don't force it if you can't. Okay, we'll see. Thank you. Four two five two golf. I think you're too high, Sears. Uh, five to, five to go. You might be too high. Okay. Well, could go around then. Four to five to go. Sears five to go, Roger. Just uh, okay. Just you're just gonna make a right traffic now for runway three five. We'll come back around and we got it this time. Traffic to three. Five two golf, uh, make right down into runway three five, and you are clear to land. There'll be uh, no other traffic for runway four, so this one will be easy. Five two golf, affirmative, and clear to land on runway three five via the right down and right base. Five two golf and there's a seven thirty seven on short final runway four touching down right front of you, so just caution where turbulence right there at that intersection. Okay, I got that right, thank you. Four two five two golf. Way three five in sight. Four two five two golf. Five two golf winds zero nine or zero at one three, gust one eight, runway three five again, clear land. Three five clear to land. Trying to get down again. Four two five two dogs. No problem. Okay, uh, Sears uh, five two golf. Just go ahead and make the left turn now to enter the uh, downwind midfield downwind for only four. If you can, just keep me a nice low tight pattern. I'm going to have traffic four miles behind you, so I need you to just kind of keep it in tight if you could. And actually, I might end up sequencing you behind that traffic. It's on four miles a minute. Um, it is going to be a little bit tight with the one behind it. So uh, when you get on that downwind, stay on the downwind. Advise me when you have that 737 in sight. We'll either do four. Or we might swing you around to three five. But, uh, uh, ma'am, ma'am, uh, straighten up, straighten up. Breaking news: In yesterday's deadly plane crash near Hobby Airport, Eyewitness News has obtained new, up-close images of the crash that killed three family members from Oklahoma. Tony and Dana Gray, and Tony's brother Jerry Gray, died when they were flying from Norman, Oklahoma to Houston to visit the brother's fathers at MD Anderson Cancer Center. Dana Gray was the pilot yesterday, but the Cirrus SR-20 plane crashed after Gray tried to land that plane three times, but was apparently too high. Eyewitness News reporter Natasha Barrett joins us live from the crash site on Telephone Road with these new images, and we do need to warn you, some people may find them disturbing, Natasha. 
And they really are, Eric. I met with the store owner here at this Ace Hardware store. Behind me, the crash scene has been cleared. The wreckage is gone. I sat down with him. I watched that video in full several times, and it really is quite disturbing. So as a station, we have decided to just share still images with you, which you are about to see. And we did this right after I spoke with an NTSB investigator. These are the very first images of the plane crashing yesterday in the Ace Hardware parking lot. Through these still shots taken from the surveillance video, you can see just how fast and how violent the crash was. Here you see a shadow of the plane in the pavement. And this, this is the moment right before impact. Then the plane hits that parked car. It hits extremely hard. The National Transportation Safety Board investigator described what the plane was doing seconds before crashing showed that the aircraft was res relatively nose level and relatively wings level, spinning counterclockwise to the left at the moment of impact. The pilot of the Cirrus SR-20, Dana Gray, tried to land at Hobby Airport three times, according to the NTSB, because they say she was either flying too high or going too fast. Her first attempt to land was on a northeast runway. The second time, she was redirected to a different runway by air traffic control. And on her third try, the NTSB says the pilot made some last-minute decisions. On the third approach, I've been told that she made the, uh, the uh, decision herself to go around. We don't know if the pilot made a distress call or if she gave anyone any indication she was in trouble. There's still the question of whether the plane ran out of gas. The NTSB investigator says the pilot got a full tank of fuel before leaving Norman, Oklahoma. That fuel should last for five hours of flying. The NTSB says the plane was flying for three hours and they say that there is no evidence of fuel at the crash site.